this is a video on what a palindromic sequence is. So you'll notice from my last video that I talked about uh, restriction endonucleases and how they target certain sequences in uh, a gene, in a sequence of genes. And I talked about ECOR1, which has a target sequence um, in between the G of the 5 prime and the 3 prime ends. So it cuts the molecule here, leaving these sticky ends on the 3 prime overhang. Um, so a palindromic sequence, which is what enables these restriction endos to cut at these points, is something that it's a sequence of nucleotide bases that reads the same way on the top strand as it does on the bottom strand in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. So if you were to flip this molecule, so the 5 prime end was right here and it matched the top, you would have G, A, A, T, T, C, which is an exact match to this molecule right there. And that's just this molecule flipped on its opposite side. So we're reading from the five prime to three prime direction. So a palindromic sequence is really important for uh, genetics research once again, and uh, being able to find and identify these restriction enzymes or restriction endonucleases and use them to our advantage in genetics or cell biology or any kind of scientific field uh, research where you're dealing with DNA. Um, another place that these restriction enzymes are often seen is in uh, CRISPR. So CRISPR is the new gene. Well, it's not new. It's a, it's a new, newly publicized where people actually know what it is uh, in the, in the world. Um, gene editing technique that's found once again in bacterias and it stands for uh, clustered uh, regularly interspaced palindromic So, as you can see, palindromic right here. So obviously CRISPR uses these palindromic repeats to be able to cut enzymes. And I'll talk about CRISPR in more detail in another video, but I just wanted to relate these palindromic sequences to this new gene editing technique that's becoming very popular nowadays, and it's constantly on the news about ethics and if we should be using it and making stuff like designer babies. And there's a bunch of stuff if you were to type in CRISPR onto Google that you would find on this uh, complex issue that's going on. but So those are palindromic sequences, and I just wanted to relate this video to the last one on endonuclease, um, or restriction endonucleases or enzymes, uh, so you can really understand how these, these uh, sequences are used as targets for cleavage. And then in further videos, I'm going to talk about how these restriction enzymes can be used to incorporate our own synthetic DNA into a molecule um, or a plasmid, sorry, that'll be incorporated into a bacteria and see what happens.